Hi everyone, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm using the Scalloped Slimline with Hearts die set, portrait, pool party, meow you doing. I don't use the translation set. I use on the beach, life is good, and I don't use that one or the stencil or that die set. I had good intentions, and I will walk you through what I use as I use it, but plans changed, <laughs> so we moved on. I am sorry I'm off screen. I fix it in just a minute. There we go. <laughs> I stamped all my images onto some um, Strathmore mixed media vellum surface paper with ink, and I heat set the ink, and now I am coloring with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. Um, I'm not going to color everything on screen because there are about a billion images, <laughs> which some I, of course, don't end up using, but um, I do color everything, like one of every, you know, duplicate. So, like, I'm coloring a couple cats for you. All of the cats are going to be gray, and I actually only use two gray colors for the cats, and I start with a platinum, it's called platinum brown gray and I just use that along where I want the darkest areas of the cat then I use my damp water brush to pull the color up to the rest of the image while it's still damp I use the same platinum brown color along the same edges I want the shading and I use a warm gray marker to pull up the rest of the color and that is the really simple easy way <laughs> to shade your images um, of course, I had to add pink cheeks and pink ears, and there is nothing new about those. <laughs> it's always going to happen on Critters with me. I um, am coloring the sandcastles in the same way I always color sandcastles because that's my favorite way to do it. I'm using mustard color as the base. Then I am using my damp water brush to pull the color out to the rest of the area. While it's still wet, I use a dark brown marker in the shaded areas, the mustard color again over the dark brown, and then a natural beige marker to pull it out the rest of the way. And that is, in a nutshell, how everything is colored. And I, that's my style, <laughs> but there's like a million ways you could color. And I go out of the lines all the time and I just use my water brush to saturate that area with water and damp it up with a dry paper towel and that gets most, like I would say, 90% of the color up. It's perfect. I am going to now color the beach umbrella and the beach ball. Um, if anybody is surprised that I'm using rainbow, I should have told you to get ready. <laughs> but of course, yes, in rainbow colors. And I'm just, same, same as before, darkest shade where I want the darkest color. Um, then the medium, and then I either pull it out with a damp water brush or the lightest color. For my yellows, I actually use the mustard color, and then my medium yellow, and then my light yellow to add a little bit of extra shading. It's hard to get shading with yellow, so that's why I use browns as my shading for yellows. And then this looks like it's going to be a nice aqua teal color, but psych, it's mint. <laughs> I love using those colors to make a mint fresh summery type rainbow then I use those same teal and aqua marker but with a blue to create the blue section of the rainbows so I love how especially with zigs you can like use the same markers with just one additional color and it totally changes the way it looks it's so fun I could not resist coloring in this life preserver in yellow and gray and as you can see, I'm using brown again just for the shading part. But yellow, that, that life preserver in yellow and gray, it just, I don't know why, I just love it. It's just, it has everything. <laughs> it's, especially when it's going in like a blue ocean or a blue pool, the yellow and the blue contrast. I just love how it looks. So I apologize because I've done that before, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> I am coloring in a little speech bubble and I went outside the lines again, but don't worry. I just dabbed it up with some water and my paper towel. And I'm also going to color in this little snorkel set, which I think is the cutest in yellows as well. And I think the last thing I, oh, nope, I'm going to color in the coconut drink, which I wanted to use so bad with that cat up in the corner right there my finger is on to make it look like he was drinking, but I just couldn't get it to work in the scene. Oh, sorry, my cat is scratching my chair. <laughs> um, 
I just couldn't get it to work in this scene. So I'll save the image for another card. Um, the coconut drink is just, I mean, it's perfect, right? <laughs> I also don't end up using the sand pail, which I love that sand pail image. And for some reason, it gets cut a lot in my cards. I think I always save images that I, I cut and color but don't use on a card. And I think I have three sand pail <laughs> images, which is, a sh like I said, a shame because I, I do love that image. I think it adds to the scene. Okay, so here's the last things I'm gonna color, which are just various shells. And I'm gonna color them in dark pinks and medium pinks and very light pinks. So simple coloring, barely any shading. Um, I'm going to be adding some white details with my gel pen, and here, here you can see the white details with everything. And um, you don't need super detail on those shells. And here's where I had a ton of fun. I'm using alcohol inks to create my backgrounds. I um, don't, uh, I don't have the list of colors in front of me, but I will put them in the description box um, in in the video, or you can find them on the Lawn Fawn blog or my blog. Um, it's basically dark blues, medium blues, teals, um, mints, and I color, I cover the entire Yupo sheet in alcohol solution, then I'm just spritzing my colors literally willy-nilly. I'm kind of keeping the darkest colors to the left and it's getting lighter as I go to the right. But it's I'm also, as you can see, putting some dark colors on the right and light colors on the left. Because, you know, an ocean isn't perfect, perfectly separated. <laughs> and I'm using a old straw to just kind of initially blend the colors together, just kind of get it moving a little bit. And now I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm just going to start moving the color along and drying it as it goes. It's so fast. This is actually real time um, making this background. I'm just using an old um, post office box as my, you know, palette, I guess, holding it. And I'm just moving it up and down to get the ink to move around, moving my, constantly moving my heat gun. I don't want to keep it in one area too long or it will, um, it'll burn the paper and that's it. It's done. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I sped it up again because I'm going to repeat the same process with, um, I'm going to use some yellows. I forgot I had a brown. See that brown in the top right corner? Yeah, I forgot that was brown. <laughs> So I'm actually using like a dark yellow and like a butterscotch color. And that's going to be the sandy shore. But then on the other side of that paper, I'm going to use the same colors, the light colors I used for the ocean. And because I wanted one more layer of ocean. And same thing, I just spritzed, I just used the whole thing in alcohol solution. Then I used a straw to initially move around the color. And then my heat gun really just did the job. It just finished it up, dried it all. I love, 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 love alcohol inks. I am not an expert by any means, but I do have fun <laughs> making them. And um, yeah, I, th I think it looks good, but <laughs> that's just me. And this is obviously not real time, but it's the same thing that I had done before, just different colors. So I thought that I would, you know, speed it up, not take up the whole time. And now I'm going to die cut it out. And I'm die cutting out everything with the scalloped slimline with hearts portrait die set. Um, and then I'm going to be using the stitched uh, wavy borders and the stitched hillside borders to create the sandy hills and the waves. Here they are all together, um, die cut and everything. And I'm, I was like, I really think this sand needs some white flex. So I'm just using some white acrylic paint and I'm flicking it on all over. And I was like, well, if it's gonna be in the sandy shore, it should be in the sandy sand castles. <laughs> so I flicked it on there and let it dry. And now we're ready to start assembling the card. Although you'll see, as usual, this was the most time consuming <laughs> and frustrating part. <laughs> I decided I just wanted the scallop part I had put placed together just to go directly onto the card base. I really like how the wave is at the top, um, kind of ending the scene, I guess. Um, and I'm just going to pat it all down, make sure it's there. And I thought, oh, let me do my 
sentiment. So I'm using the sentiment from um, Meow You Doing, and I'm heat embossing it in white onto black cardstock. Please ignore my son's schedule for school that is two years old. <laughs> That's right, two years old. I still have it, and I still <laughs> use it, you know, as a crafting tool. <laughs> and now I'm going to glue everything down. I'm using the Lawn Fawn glue in the big bottle. Love it. Um, I am attaching my seashells, the sandcastle. I'm going to work my way from the bottom of the slimline card up to the top. And this little cat, I think, is my favorite, the one asleep under the umbrella. <laughs> and he's got his own little speech bubble. I wrestle with all of these tiny little foam adhesive backs. It's like some of them didn't want to come off, so I'm taking off the half of the foam pad with it. It was, I mean, here it looks easy because I've sped it up, but I mean, it, it was giving me a run for my money. <laughs> uh, this little guy playing with his beach ball, I thought was just the cutest. I mean, hello. And I'm using an acrylic block to hold the glue down so that it doesn't curl back up. And then I cut up this little cat so it looks like he's swimming, you know, snorkeling in the waves and just popping up. And I struggled getting his little tail and I really wanted his tail to be there, but um, I won. I beat it. I won the card. <laughs> There's his tail. And then I'm just going to add the last few things, which is the beach ball for the kitty in the waves. And, of course, the cat that is just living his best life in the inflatable life preserver. And the sentiment which is going to go at the very top of the card. And hopefully you're doing as good as these cats are doing. <laughs> Excuse my head. <laughs> and I am going to just next make the card base. So I have the card base. I'm using my pencil to just mark where I want to fold it over to create my slimline card. I'm using a bone folder to um, score it and press it down. Then lots of tape and lots of glue. Of course, you don't want the card base to come off. That would be awkward. <laughs> and I'm just going to attach it there, and you have the perfect slimline card. And that is my summer beach scene with the kitties. <laughs> and I love it. I don't know who's my favorite. I really like the snorkeler. I don't know. I guess I'm going to still stick with this one sleeping under the umbrella. Which cat are you at the beach? Are you making sandcastles? Are you playing in the water? Which one are you? Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope that this made you smile. And check it out on the Lawn Fawn blog if you want to see more. Bye!